boys, today we have a pretty insane video to look at. This video was made by the Score Esports. If you've never heard of them, they're basically like the largest esports video producer on YouTube. And they make this video series called The Story Of, featuring huge streamers, and they made one about me. I don't know how I tricked him into that. Probably just having one good month on Twitch will do it. Uh, but that's that's it. I have not watched it. It came out just a few days ago. Uh, and it has uh, 150k views. And uh, I'm excited to check it out. Because I've watched like all these guys' videos. I'm pretty sure if you go to XQC's YouTube channel, his most viewed video is him reacting to the Score Esports video. Second most. And I remember watching him reacting to this. But I've I've seen like all these. So I'm curious. I'm curious um, on what they did. Because they did interview me for this. And uh, I don't I don't know. I have not watched it yet. I don't know if it's both mostly focused on the subathon. The title, I will say, <laughs> a little bit slanderous. From unemployable to the top of Twitch. All right. First of all, I was not unemployable. Okay, I got employed. I then got fired. I would not call that unemployable. I would call that very employable. I was quite employable indeed. I got employed many times. It just happened that I was also fireable. I would argue that I was the most employable and fireable, which is different than being unemployable. All right? It's more like being picked to join the kickball team and then kicked off for being bad as opposed to not getting picked at all, which hurts way more. Trust me, I would know. Anyway, let's take a look at the video and see. Boys, today I have left my job and I will now be streaming full time on twitch.tv forward slash Ludwig Ogren. Welcome to the game, boys. Oh my God, Ludwig and chat. How are there that many G's in a name? There are. I grind to get there, man. I grind for these views. Dumb rich. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I was obviously saying that ironically. I've never ever said I grind for these views. Like genuinely ever. I'm the most, I'm the last guy to ever be like, I'm grinding for this, bro. Honestly, we nine and nine in this bitch. It's Monday to Monday. I haven't taken a day off. I fought for this. You know what I mean? I'm out here trying to be something. I, I, I'm inspired to, I'm not like on this Kanye. <laughs> I'm just an idiot who posted shit and got pretty lucky. But all right, all right. Children. That's how slime works. He's right. Every streamer is a dumb, rich baby child. God damn. And I'm one of them. We are going to be doing our first ever uncapped and last. subathon. And when I say uncapped, I mean if this bitch goes 48 fucking hours, I will be live for 48. That was Aiden. Hours. <laughs> this Sunday we will start, and I have no clue when we will end. Boys, today we are doing you laugh, you lose. The loser gets a tattoo on their ass. There it is. This is the new record on Twitch for most subscribers all time. Welcome to the fastest growing Twitch stream on Twitch.tv, baby. Dude, I, look, I don't like being cocky, but let me tell you, I kind of called that. That's from 2018. I, that was a bit of a call there. That's a deep cut. Look, I'm lucky that I banked it. I'm just saying I called it. Now, I didn't follow up with I would lose the most subscribers that any human has ever lost ever in the history of Twitch. But, you know, if you get the first part right, that's pretty good. You know, you don't got you don't got the you don't got to get the whole thing. I'm not, not Nostradamus, all right? Ludwig grew up in Hollis, New Hampshire, graduating <laughs> from a local high school in 2013. Holy shit, that's my fucking high school. Yeah, it's pretty much the same now. Uh, if you look up the, my high school on Wikipedia, there's only two famous alumni. It's me and another dude who has like a fucking Emmy. Uh, and he produces like, you know, Survivor and shit. He's like 40. <laughs> It was around this time Docs? that... No, guys, my name is Ludwig Ogren. It's not a fake name. It's not Docs. It's just uh, I put myself out there. Maybe not smartly, but I, I chose to, and then that's my life. Graduating from a local high school in 2013. It was around this time that he discovered his passion for video games, specifically Call of Duty. <laughs> if you could see my face when I actually accomplished 
this challenge of only turning right, it it was like pooping and um, having an orgasm at the same time. That's the only words I can use to describe it. And the feeling was even better than that. After I'd barely kissed a girl at that age. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Moving to Arizona to attend Arizona State University, Ludwig got into Super Smash Bros. Melee a scene he would continue to be involved in for years to come. Fuck them Every up. single person I live with, I, I met through Smash. My streaming career started from Smash. And uh, so it's just like a community that, that, that spawned me, I guess, you know? Outside of gaming, Ludwig also tried his hand at stand-up comedy at Tempe Late Night Comedy Club. Tempe, we'll let it slide, we'll let it slide. Ludwig graduated <laughs> from Arizona State with a double major in English Lit, and journalism and mass communication in 2017. None of these fuckers on Twitch.tv got my two degrees. These broke ass one degree losers, all right? These fucking L nerds can't even pull one degree half the time. Me over here with two? Yeah, uh, no shit, I'm up at the top. Oh, uh, yeah, baby. It was. I know it's technically not a science degree and that's probably worth three arts degrees, but you know, just ignore me for now, STEM majors. Just please don't brag about your stupid 100K out of college a year job. While commentating a Smash tournament in California, Ludwig met his veritable partner in crime and eventual roommate, Slime, who invited Ludwig to be part of his podcast, Bad Melee. I like to commentate because I just like talking and I have Asperger's or, you know, like I just, I just like speaking and <laughs> dipping his toes into the world of competitive smash and podcasting made Ludwig realize that maybe being a talk show host wasn't what he actually wanted to do. And so during this time, I'm trying to think what is the quickest way to earn money? And obviously my mind went to, Oh, I'm a young boy. I got a lot of free time to my spe myself. Why'd they blur out chat? I've been honing my skills. I got a couple swimmers. How about I try the wonderful world of sperm donation? Oh, because you guys are talking about Then cum. again, there was also <laughs> streaming. They were scared they'd get demonetized because of cum. Something Ludwig had wanted to get serious about for a long time. Of course, it's a lot easier to get the ball rolling when you're close to all the action. And so Ludwig applied to jobs in both New York and Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. And when he got a call back for a web editor gig in LA, he packed up his stuff and moved across the country to pursue his dreams. It was with a rental car, Toyota Camry, but yeah. Unfortunately, just as he was starting to get used to his new life, Ludwig got fired. In the HR later, they're just staring at me. There's no easy way to say this, but we're letting you go. I was like, what the f <laughs> Bitch, I moved to LA for this job. I don't have anything. <laughs> and this wouldn't even be the last time. Throughout okay. his time in LA, pretty much every job Ludwig had right. ended with him getting- What is this? I got, let I got let go from a couple of jobs and all of a sudden it's the fucking GTA wasted sound effect over and over. I get let go from a couple of jobs. Sorry, sorry, employment wasn't exactly ripe for fresh graduates with an English degree, okay? It's how it fucking works, god damn it. Uh, marketing at a vape company while working uh, as a streamer. And I was like, oh, I'll keep doing this until I have $10,000 in my savings account. And then I got let go at 7K. So <laughs> it hasn't been really much of a choice. Uh, I'm just not the best worker, I guess. <laughs> and I didn't realize that until I got fired five times. He'd been making some modest strides on Twitch, and so in February 2019, he decided it was time to wholly devote himself to his streaming career. And I will now be streaming full time on twitch.tv forward slash Ludwig Ogren. <laughs> Welcome to the fastest growing Twitch Dude. stream on twitch.tv, baby. Dude, I got a tattoo for 1,000 viewers. Do you see that in the bottom left? I got a tattoo for 1,000 subs, I should say. 1,000 subs. That's absurd. I would never do that now. It's such a, such a small, that's not even, that's like you can barely live off of that. Like 1,000 subs a month? That's like 2,500 before taxes. That's like 30K a year before taxes in Los Angeles, like that's, that's terrible.
I was out here getting tattooed for minimum wage. <laughs> that's that's absurd. Ludwig's last gig was one of the jobs he got let go from, but he had his reasons for padding the truth. And I didn't want it to seem like I was going full time only because I got fired. And I didn't want people to pity me or I didn't want it to overshadow oh, yeah, the idea that going full time was something I actually had wanted to do, which is true. I did want to go full time and that was it. I just finally had the balls to do it. I just fucking lied to chat. I just told them I quit to go full time. I fucking lied. I got let go, but I didn't want them to be like, I didn't want people in chat to be like, bro, are you sure? Like you could just look for another job. <laughs> so I fucking lied. I was like, yep. <sighs> I left my job. I quit it. And I'm trying to do this full time now. Cause then I thought it'd be more of a celebration. If if I if I say I got fired and I guess I'll go full time, it's not as hype as if I quit on my own terms. So I just lied about it. I don't lie a lot to chat, but that was one of the times I lied, and I don't regret it. That was a good lie. Ludwig's stream didn't exactly <laughs> hit the ground running right off the bat. Okay, dude, it was doing pretty fucking good. It's just that the bar graph gets flattened because of the large viewership I have now. All right, views were increasing. You don't got to dog me. <laughs> it was going up. It just looks worse now because I'm getting like 10, 20K. <laughs> but in the next few months, it picked up more and more viewers, thanks in large part to his willingness to try anything once. He's so happy over there. He's so happy. So, <laughs> All right, good luck, bud. I was supposed to shoot him 20 times, and then the third shot, he was like, I'm out. <laughs> it was supposed to be 20. I was supposed to riddle that dude with bullets. Ah! 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 What the f*** is going on? Beyond just embracing the weird shit his audience craved, Ludwig did something else. Something that set him apart from every other streamer, raging and screaming and just chatting. He put in the work to make sure that the bits skits and weird challenges were as polished as possible and it set him apart from his peers lud would always go the extra mile for his audience and as the quality improved his that. dream of becoming a talk show mm -hmm. host was actually coming to life keep saying that just on twitch and when the global pandemic hit in 2020 forcing everyone to try and fill the entertainment void in their lives ludwig was right there to pick up the slack but there's only so much entertaining anyone can do without feeling burnout starting to creep in. And Ludwig was no exception. After nearly three years of streaming, he was ready for a break. On February 16th, Ludwig announced he'd be taking a hiatus from Twitch and YouTube to visit friends and family in his native New Hampshire next month. Guys, I'm going on break. I'm leaving. I'm out. Pack the bags. Dip it. It was real. It was fun. Wasn't real fun. Time for me to go. Bon voyage. Other phrases that mean goodbye. Sayonara. I think it's Japanese. But it wasn't the relaxing holiday Ludwig had hoped for. On March 4th, he had to undergo an emergency <laughs> appendix surgery. About a week after his surgery, Ludwig returned to LA and to streaming full time. But it wasn't going to be business as usual. He had something different in mind for his comeback. We are going to be doing our first ever uncapped subathon. And when I say uncapped, I mean if this bitch goes 48 f***ing hours, I will be live for 48 f***ing hours. Oh, I didn't lie. 72, the next one after that, when you add 24 hours for another day, <laughs> all of it. This Sunday we will start and I have no clue when we will end. What Ludwig didn't realize was that 72 hours wasn't going to cut it, since the amount of time he'd have to spend on stream would increase by 10 seconds with every new sub he got. And his viewers were determined to make Ludwig keep at it as long as possible. So I thought it'd go a day or two, uh, and then like three, four days in, I was like, oh shit, this might go longer than I thought. I don't have a boyfriend. You do. Twitch.tv has a boyfriend. Just for a few days. 
That's what you said it four days ago. <laughs> Consider it a work trip. This is the worst work trip. Stop subscribing, you monsters. The uncapped subathon started on- I, I don't think I've talked about this a lot, but Cutie called it. After like day one, she was like, this is going to go forever. And I was like, nah, it'll be a week. And then a week would pass and she'd be like, this is going to go the whole entire length if you don't stop it. And I was like, two weeks max. Then two weeks would go and she'd be like, it's literally going to go forever. It's just never going to end. And I was like, we hit like five seconds a day. You're out of pocket. <laughs> And I was just wrong every time. The uncapped subathon started on March 14th and kept Ludwig on air for an entire month, the max amount of time he was willing to keep going. To everyone who keeps subbing and gifting the moment it hits one, I want you guys to know there's actually no way for it to go under one, the way we have the timer set up. Cause it's a one, it's like, a, it's, the timer's like made of one piece. And uh, <laughs> and there's no way for it to go under. It's called One Piece Rule 34. If you Why look it up. Why would they put this in? <laughs> What's up? Why would they put that in? They just chipated more people. That's crazy. What a crazy one to put in. When the cameras finally turned off on April 14th, after broadcasting Ludwig's life to his viewers for a whopping 700 hours. He had beaten the record previously held by Ninja for the most sub to Twitch streamer. Okay. Yo, 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 what's going on? Uh, I don't know if you heard. I just broke your record. The f what you say to me, you little shit? <laughs> no, I, I just, I just, <laughs> I just broke your, <laughs> I, no, I, I don't even know the peak number of subs I had off the top of my head. So, uh, it wasn't that impactful i think the entire journey was just what was so overwhelming 23 uh, just streaming my life for a month and how much oh, support i had and i happened to get a record which i'll boast about until the day i die even if someone takes it but it, it wasn't like i don't think it hits you in any way i don't think it's that big of a deal but most people would argue that having nearly 270,000 twitch subs to your name was a huge deal and the hype didn't end with the subathon. Ludwig continues to hold the record for most sub to Twitch streamer while having one of the most active sub counts on the platform right now. <laughs> Why you gotta show it all? You don't gotta do the scroll. I mean, I'm in the top 10. You did a scroll like you had to go down like 18 fucking pages. This dude did a scroll like, like his finger got exhausted halfway through. I mean, we, we're number eight. This isn't crazy far off. You... <laughs> He did like a giant, he whipped it down. Twitch streamer. He while whipped having it. One of the I'm, I'm two away. I'm two away from the top. It just, it's, it's a little one. The most and he did a, he put motion blur on it. What anyone had to say, the subathon made Ludwig a bunch of money, a sizable portion of which he donated to charity. It earned him the devotion of hordes of new fans and cemented his place among streaming's elite. I'm very cognizant that if I have 20,000 people watching me, you know, a minute of stream time is 20,000 minutes total of like human time, which is like so much, so much. So I, I really don't want to waste people's time um, because I'm taking up so much of it. And with time becoming a very real tradable resource online, other notable Twitch personalities have expressed an interest in trying to one up Ludwig by running their own subathons. But he insists it's not about the numbers. Here's the thing about subs. I got them. It doesn't give you happiness. I would try something else. <laughs> records don't get you happiness. So we should just leave this record for eternity. Whatever happens with <laughs> his record. I talking out of my ass. So XQC wouldn't take my fucking record. I, I just said that because I was hoping that no one would go to beat my record. <laughs> But I do mean that. I do mean that genuinely. After hindsight, a few months, they always say it's 2020. I can say safely that this record, this money, this attention, it, it means nothing. What means the most is staying exactly where you are and not changing. <laughs> like if you're at 80, stay there. Because that, that shows something, you know? Consistency. Going forward, it's undeniable that Ludwig has set a new benchmark for the rest of the streaming community. He emerged from the primordial ooze of early Twitch as part of a new breed of entertainers. One that sees streaming as a legitimate calling, 
worthy of as much dedication as any so-called real job out there. I think being successful at streaming is preparing yourself uh, the best way possible for when luck hits to be ready and to be sick. Because uh, it can strike at any time, and if you're not ready, that might be your only chance. Thanks for watching. If you want more content like this, Chill. hit the sub button and ring that notification that bell. Bars there. That was a good video. It was turt to the point. Got everything out there. Do you mean terse? No, I mean turt, like short. It was turt. Terse. Terse. All right, well, how many fucking degrees do you have, okay? Huh? What's going on? What's going on? Oh, is it Kurt? I combined Kurt and terse, but Kurt means rudely brief. So when you get an English degree, you actually unlock uh, combining words. It's like a new ability, basically. It's kind of like a time skip in a way, and you're able to just combine them, and it's like chill. So tert is Kurt and terse combined into one word. But honestly, if you're not an English major, you wouldn't get it. If I can get an amen for my fellow English majors in chat, would appreciate that because you guys are on my side, obviously, because you get it. The other ones don't know. Just drop a cringe for yourself because that's what you are. <laughs> Thank you very much. But yeah, super sweet video from the Score Esports. Check out the original uh, as well. And if you guys aren't on YouTube, uh, do me a favor and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Turns out that 35% of the people who watch my videos aren't subbed. And I actually just got the lowest amount of subs in a day ever last week <laughs> uh, since 2019. Literally all of 2020, I got at least 1,000 subs every day. And last week, I got 700 subs. Um, so subscribe!